Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Tastes Good Barbecue. What I have for you today. Today we're going to be doing up Hawaiian cheesesteak sandwiches over on the Blackstone Griddle. Enjoy. So I was talking to my boy Blue. You're my boy Blue. About this Hawaiian cheesesteak sandwich that he made at home. So I thought I'd give it a shot. I'm using a little bit of creative license on it, but kind of wanted to give him credit for the thought process here. So I'm going to just start with all the prep. We'll just run through that and fast forward, and I will meet you over on the Blackstone. Time to get the party started. So first thing we're gonna do here is just toast up these buns. Shouldn't take long at all. And in the fast forward there, I just used uh, mayonnaise. I'm sure they're all I'm looking for, something a little bit like that. Next up, we're going to be doing our peppers and onions. You know, I'm not, well, those of you who have been watching my videos for a while, I'm doing some custom orders tonight. Not too happy about it, but that's just the way it is. So we'll get down some onions over here. Some peppers over here. Next up, we're going to do up some diced ham. And some mostly gra drained crushed pineapple. So in the ham, I'm going to use this Sweet Baby Ray's Hawaiian.
All right, we're getting started with the customization. So the first two I'm going to do are pretty lame. They are just ham and cheese. Then I am going to do a ham, cheese, pineapple, onion. I'm going to do a ham, cheese, and pineapple. And then I'll bring you back here for the last one where we'll do this how it's supposed to be done. All right, let's do some real ones now. So what I found out is doing that, the less ingredients you have, the kind of the lamer it is and the harder it is to come out. And also what I found is I probably sauced them up a little too quick. You can kind of see how gooey it is. And they kind of got some, I guess we'll call that remnant there on the side. So basically I'm just heating up some onions here. Reheat the peppers a little bit. And we should be able to get two out of this one here. So I'm currently on low on that, on both outsides, medium here in the center. Well, that's what I'm talking about here. Pretty sure that's fine. Or so. Now that's a sample. Dive into this messy goodness here. There you go. Let's get a little shot. Well, let's dive on in. Mmm. That's a great explosion of flavor, especially that pineapple. That pineapple really gives a nice kick. You really get the the onion and the pepper really kind of sets us up sets us off the ham's kind of hidden in there when i go back inside to finish this off i may add a little more barbecue sauce to it but let's take another bite just to make sure got the cheese on the end of that one these things are pretty good uh, quick simple easy Kind of like everything on the Blackstone, I just love cooking on this thing, great for weeknight meals. Hey, if you liked the video, make sure you hit that like, I'll put a subscribe icon for you. Right there, some more Blackstone videos, right about there. Hey, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.